Would you like to make awesome websites only using Google Sites? Welcome to TechPress, where we simplify tech for every use. Today we're exploring the Google Sites, a user-friendly tool for creating websites. Whether you're building a personal project, a portfolio, or a business site, Google Sites offer a straightforward platform for your web creation needs. So let's get started. First of all, Google Sites is a part of the Google Workspace. So offering a drag and drop interface from website creation, it is great for those who need a simple and effective web presence without the complexities of advanced web designs. So it's integrated with all the Google services making it for settled choices for personal and business use. So to get started, to set up your Google Sites, sign into your Google account and navigate to the actual Google Sites website. You can always go into sites.google.com to get started in here. And if you already have an actual Google account, you'll be seeing something like this. So once you are in here, click into the blank template to begin from scratch or to choose a pre-designed template. Usually what we do if you don't know how to get started is to go into template gallery. So you can see we have the personal work, event, small business, uh, the wedding and education stuffed. So choose the one the best you like the best. Of course, you don't want to focus into the design, but into the actual template, the blocks elements that then later on you can edit as your own. For example, the restaurant option. So choose the one that best suits for you. Templates are a great way to get started quickly, especially if you're new to an actual website building. So once you choose a really great template, we wanted to customize your site layout. So Google Sites offer various layout options. You can add, remove or rearrange sections to suit your content needs. Let's add a header by clicking on the header section. I go into header type and here you can choose title only, the banner, the latch banner or an actual full cover for your actual website. So then I can move on, I can go back. Remember that your head is the first thing visitors will see, so make it engaging. Now adding content to your site, let's add a few content. You can include text, images and even embedded videos on Google Drive files directly into your site. Click the insert panel and here explore the options. Here as you can see you can add all of these elements or you can add content blocks. Content blocks are let's say like some group elements that you can see and you can add later. For example just click in here and the content block should be added here. So what I can do is to click into this element so I can select any specific images or I can select an actual video from YouTube. Now designing an aesthetic. Google Sites allow for basic customization of your site, look and feel. You can change your theme color and font style, use the theme section into the right part panel on the right, and then you can select and change different themes depending on how you are willing to people to see your website. And you can change the font color styles as you are getting started here. So check out, it doesn't look that bad after all. Now keep your design consistently and reflective of your brand and personal style. Now organizing pages and navigation. If your site has multiple pages, you can organize them from ease navigation. To add a new page, click on the page panel here and here you can go and add different buttons. For example, here into nail, let's go for videos. I hit into done and here's going to be popping up a new section on videos. So what I can do is to go back. I can always try to copy, duplicate this section and then later on I can save this into a new contact us version or I can create a new video section. Ensure your navigation menu is intuitive, visitors should find information easily. So home videos contact us, uh, chef of course it's not important for us so I delete this. You can even change the navigation mode into settings and here have navigation. So here in the top, I can go and change this for a site, for example, and something much more easier. So when somebody clicked into my navigation, it's going to be popping up this new site bar so they can check out my actual new website. Previewing and publishing your site. Before publishing, guys, preview your site to see how it works on different devices. Click on the preview button to check it. It's going to be popping up this new section and you can check out how it's going to be looking your website, the animations and all of that and enjoy your new website. Satisfied? Well, click into Publish to make this site live. 
you can set up your new custom URL or use the default Google site address. For example, let's go for Tech Express videos. And here is my Google site uh, account created totally for free. I'm going to hit into Publist and we're good to go. I go into Copy Publish site. Here's my copy at linked and I open this into a new tab. And there you have it, guys. You have just created a website using Google Sites. It's a straightforward tool, but with a little creativity, you can build a professional looking site. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to TechPress for more TechPress tips and tricks. Have any questions or tips you own about Google Sites, you can share them into the comments below. Thank you so much once again for watching the video and stay tuned for more helpful guides and tutorials. Happy website building, guys. See you soon.